girl. Remember LaShawn? No, from where? From over on 34th and Shaveman. Had the CD out with the video. Had the suit on. Hey, hey. Shamika, what's happening? Hi, good morning. Hello, there. Hello. 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 No, I didn't know it. You know what? It's on the way. Along with my flesh. It's a long season. That's all that matters, right? We have, sorry, Aaron, Howard, and Bishop Stevens. Yeah, okay. Empire. From Empire. Now, what's the wrong play in Empire? No, I'm going to ask you that. You know their character? Oh, the one that's a humping cookie now? No, no, that's Antoine oh. Fisher. No, not that one. I want to be him. Just ask some questions. But this, but this is Bishop Stevens. Okay. Oh. He's been on like five episodes. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey, Brad. That's who we just heard on there. I thought about that. This is Jamika Hunt. Uh, she is uh, a okay. blue director now. Has stage four cancer. Oh, wow. Bad James, that's the one. Bad. We need to name him there. Spell no you didn't. I might win it next time. I already know. I already know it's going to end up at your crib. The raffle. The raffle. The dude who won gave it back. I got it wonder if the TV last night even makes it bad for you. It's up. You wasn't gonna buy that. Sound shady, don't it? Sound like that damn thing. Sound like that damn thing. There's just a good thing. There's just a good people in the community. I want to be in the house. <laughs> <laughs> now, it is. Sister, 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 he's donated the back. This is, he got a little house, and he already got a fast-free TV. So I'm like, I don't have none of them. He's a man. 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 He's a you're listening to Cool Groove Radio on RadioMix.tv. And we are back, number 200 of the Jumbo Love Show. Man, celebrating a great time, great space. Get out of my box, Tracy Drain, trying to look at my mug. That's what you get when your name's in the jingle, as Tom Joyner said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna drink me some beer out of that today, just to make sure that it worked. Yes, sir. And we're in the studio with Demetrius Witherspoon, aka LaShawn, three years ago when he made his debut. But first, I am just honored, proud, and happy on the 200th episode of Jumbo Love. My little sister just rolled up on the cruise. What's up, Slick? Oh man, nothing. Had a late night last night after we did that drawing. Yeah, I know. Let's tell them that, that somebody was, really wants them. Tell, let's yeah. tell this jankety story. It's not jankety. It's this really sounds cool. like you consulted with Gino before. Jankety. No, it's uh, a real cool story. This guy named let me, set up, let me set up the picture. Okay, go ahead. Tracy and her uh, four classes, <laughs> 1978, 79, 80, and 81 are having a class reunion. So they decided to sell tickets, raffle tickets for a class for television. The running joke is somehow, some way, would end up with you or one of your cousins in this raffle. So they sold probably a million tickets and got a little 42 inch flat screen that. Who's the name of this guy? Sad James. Bad James, some made up guy. No, it's not made up. Won the raffle and decided to give it back to the Arlington class reunion. Sure this is the best damn line. How do you give it to a reunion? That's what I'm saying. Wait, wait. What, you just, don't, you just don't take it. We're going to raffle it off again. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, it's a policy scheme. No, no, we're going to have another matinee so we can raffle it off at the matinee. You know what? We might do $5 a ticket. 
Nope. And give it away that night at the matinee. She's oh, telling y'all she's going to double that dip. You are, you are just incredible. And this is the same chick that sold, mm. sold her little niece's candy for a family reunion. For and it's yet to happen. And ain't no. nobody went no way. <laughs> you know, this no. kind of reminds me, last night I was watching Family Feud and they won the car. I'm like, well, who gets the damn car? <laughs> so you raffling off stuff two, three times. Hey. So how's the reunion going to split the television? No, we're not going to split the television. Tracy, we're if going you end up with that TV, <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you now, I am not defending you. If you end no, up with the television. I'm not going to end up with the TV. I can't even play, ma'am. I can't even you play. You can't play what? I can't, play, I can't the do the raffle. And you can't, like, being you know, at the lottery, you can't participate. Right, you can't win your right. Buzz, employees. Yeah, yeah. Families can't participate. Wait, wait, wait. Here's yeah. how it'll go down. I, I'm telling you now. Here's how it'll go down. Eventually, Teresa... My will end up with the, her mom will end up with the TV and then give it to Tracy for Christmas. I'll wait for it. It's looking, she'll wait for it. I'll wait for it. Well, what do you think about riding on the boat, show number 200 you've been on? Wow, I'm just so excited about that. You know what I think about the first time you called me and asked me to come on the show? And I was like, that is a Saturday. That's like my only day to see then. And the negotiations went down like this. They did. I called her people and her people said, I said, look, she can come in an hour late. Then she started coming in an hour and 20 minutes late. Then but she like just here. stopped coming when she didn't want to come. But when she comes, she's effective. Yeah, so that's and, what And kind of genius. I mean, I've got the uh, the Chrissy and uh, Lucy of Internet Radio <laughs> on my team because Kanika just came in. And, uh, my buddy. Yeah, Lord have mercy. God bless me. <laughs> but we are back. We're talking about the great red carpet event coming up at the Kiwanis yes. Club. Um, uh, we're talking about the movie Submerge, a sci-fi movie. We're here with uh, DV Entertainment and Films, Mr. Demetrius Witherspoon, a.k.a. LaShawn, if you heard him back from his singing days, the teddy bear love. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, man. Hey, this film uh, I wrote and uh, directed and also did cinematography on. But it's about a young lady that gets chased by the government and thrown into another world. And she has to find her way out. Now, let's set this up, though, because your, your shorts right now, you're doing mainly uh, sci-fi. Yes. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. Sci-fi film. So, uh, she uh, gets thrown into another world and has to find her way out and find her daughter. And so, this is the third installment uh, of the film. But at the red carpet, we're going to show all three shorts. And uh, it is a red carpet where you'll be able to meet the cast and crew. We also have uh, Bishop Stevens and Jerome Davis who are also uh, in Empire, the Fox TV show. Uh, Yo, you so, said that kind of casually, uh, man. Well, that well, it was a drum roll, but no, that's, that's uh, impressive. Yeah, uh, Bishop Stevens, he was uh, driving in from St. Louis to film with us, that's where he is, and then he would go uh, out to Chicago and uh, film uh, for Empire. Now, for so, the for the public's uh, just, just information-based, uh, Shorts. How long are shorts uh, versus your regular cinematography? Uh, well, shorts are in, anywhere. Uh, they are shorter than uh, 50 minutes. Okay, so it can okay. be anywhere between 25, 30 it minutes, be 50 two minutes. minutes to 8 minutes. So uh, we're looking at probably about 45, 50 minutes. Yeah. So, so we're looking at uh, between the three. You're looking at a total of uh, about an hour, hour and a half. About an hour. Okay, cool, cool. And uh, at the red carpet event, uh, you're also bringing awareness about DB Entertainment Films. Yeah, uh, DB Entertainment Pictures. Uh, we are uh, doing a lot of different projects and a lot of projects coming up, and uh, we always need people's support because we're um, independently owned. Okay, it's just me. Go on and get it out there, baby. Go on and put it out me. there. My money, you know, and uh, some of the kids might not get to eat a couple of meals, but we're making it happen for the greater good. So uh, that's where we are with DV Entertainment, and we continuously want to grow uh, with this film industry. And we're learning a lot. I'm part of the uh, IFM, which is the Indiana Film Network. There that are doing 37 feature films to just starting out, 
So we've got a lot of people participating now in the filmmaking business. Uh, as I mentioned, Chris Grove Banyan is uh, actually doing our YouTube posting right now, which is uh, just another way to create a visual art um, in this new age and day. Um, what I want to do is just let the people know again, how can they contribute? I know the tickets are $5 for this event. Um, how do they get in touch with you to make sure that we keep this ball rolling for you, man? Okay. Well, uh, they can go to DB, that's D like in David, B like in Victor, uh, Entertainment Pictures, that's dot com. Uh, and there is the uh, red carpet tab. You just click on that, that's where you can get your tickets. Also, if you'd like to donate uh, toward the premiere, then you're able to do that. We also got VIP tickets that are only, we try to keep this reasonable. Uh, this is for the cast and crew, but uh, it's for everyone else to enjoy. So we do have VIP tickets for seven dollars, and that means you get to get you a little something, something, and uh, you get to hang with the cast in the VIP area. Uh, so uh, you know, just looking for that support, and I'm going to get back to the community. Also, this is awesome, and I think uh, I don't know what this is rated, but I know with it being sci-fi, uh, probably Irish. Well, no, we're, we're keeping it PG-13. You're a Christian, man. No, uh, yeah, we're keeping it PG-13. Yeah, I'm a Christian. I just have a tendency to cuss sometimes. <laughs> Drink a little whiskey. <laughs> but no, man, no, no. if it's PG-13, that means a youth about how age, uh, 13, 14 years old? Yeah. No, yeah. Because I think that this is going to, what it's going to do, as you've been talking about, your direction will probably lead into some type of educational platform where yes. uh, not only are you producing and creating, but showing these younger generations a, a real valid field for them to go into as we keep progressing in this 21st century. Uh, but Demetrius Witherspoon, please stay around. We've got some great people coming today on the boat, and I want you to be able to introduce yourself and be able to mingle and take $5. Just give your information to Tracy. I guarantee you you'll get some tickets sold up in this joint. But uh, we just want to get the people out. April 24th at the Kiwanis Club. Uh, it's over there off of DePaul Boulevard, up on the northwest side of Indianapolis. Please go support this great, great cause. And, uh, man, good luck to you. All right. All right. All right. We're going to talk to you some more. We're going to have you on, and we're going to get back and uh, have these great people come on this boat. You are listening to the Jumbo Love Show at RadioNext.tv on the Cool Groove Center. You can exhale now. You can exhale now. And if, like that, get out of the point. Yeah, you, and, yeah, and if not, that's what I'm saying. Hang around. You know how we do this. All right. You know, it's a continuous process, but I think coming from the music to this, yeah, I'm bringing something. Some of the local independent filmmakers are not doing. Yeah. Like I'm combining the music with this because I have mm -hmm. Nicole Michelle and also another band. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So, we're using it. You know how we move. You already know, man. <laughs> People are like, what? The, who's financing? Where's the money coming from? Look, don't you worry about it. Man, look, I'll tell them, man. I go out there, man. I'm grinding. Man. That's right. That's right. That's right. What's that? That's hard strip. I know you ain't coming in here trying to act like you're going to do some just uh, uh -huh. redesign of the electrical. You got a little dude. All you got to do is show a little thigh and we can get this done. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's been chasing you, but I mean, oh. gee, he's an electrician. He said he wants to come over. I told you, just look. Gerald, oh. I told you, you guys, look. No. Come on, sister. <laughs> sorry. Say sorry. <laughs> now I'm going to go to your boss. Right. I did uh, bring some tickets with me to that. Yeah. So. I told you, man, you can sell some of them in here.